50 percent of india's gdp comes from the unorganized sector the unorganized sector provides employment to more than 90 percent of our workforce and most importantly in every metric they beat the organized so-called organized sector hands down and let me show you one metric at a time we begin with the return of investment per square feet you must have seen these bookstalls in Bombay whenever you have been going around and you must have also seen some vendors who transport these books by hand in the marketing jargon fight for shelf space to put your product in there especially in the FMCG business to take shelf space how much of design and strategy is done and how fiercely that space is fought I want you to equate that with this old man who has to design his product mix because he is carrying that three to four kilos of weight from morning till evening and when you carry two or three kilos for more than two to three hours it doesn't feel like two to three kilos he'll only carry a book which he knows is a bestseller the second metric is equitable distribution of profits when you have a plate of idli in a street where you pay 12 rupees or 15 rupees for it the owner the vendor gets to keep only two to three rupees the remaining 15 rupees or remaining 12 rupees goes to the entire supply chain the people who wash the utensils the people who grind it the auto rickshaw guy who brings it all of them get an equitable distribution but when you have the same plate of idli in a five-star hotel where you pay 400 rupees for it bulk of the money is kept by the establishment and only a small percentage of that money is given to the entire supply chain the third is the degree of empowerment of decision making this boy sells these roses for 10 rupees his cost his kharidi is 7 rupees which means 30 percent profit per rose and he can give you a 50 percent discount if he likes your face <laughs> to get a 5 percent discount from a large conglomerate and there are many large conglomerates here and you will testify it sir to get that 5 percent discount that marketing head will have to take the decision all the way to the board and by the time the decision comes the opportunity would have been gone there is more fluidity in the street markets than any one of the businesses that you have seen you see the street vendor here so this person and millions of street vendors like him he can't sell holy products throughout the year he will sell it for about two to three weeks then he has to change to Ganpati then he has to change for Christmas then he has to change for some other festival he has to change his entire supply line he has to change his pitch he has to change his product mix he has to change every market segmentation each one of those things changes and it changes more than 15 to 16 times in one year you must have also heard big corporates trying to do change management that it takes them anywhere between five to seven years to do a change management from one product line to another product line there is more entrepreneurship per square feet in the unorganized market what you're seeing over here which looks like a big mess do you remember when you are traveling in in uh, Bombay especially and I'm sure in Nasik also suddenly you'll see in the streets in every street corner a new product will come it may be a car cleaning pichkari it may be a head massager it may be a toy it will be Christmas hats before Christmas can you visualize the amount of planning infrastructure supply chain bringing that equipment the, the planning of when that particular product will be released and it will be released simultaneously unsold stock has to be taken back cash flow has to be managed and all of this is happening without SAP ERP Microsoft Outlook <laughs> um, regulatory bodies uh, planning divisions committees none of that from the time your day starts in the morning the newspaper coming flower coming into your house coconut water each and every one of those things is being managed seamlessly and you do not have a single point of failure on a daily basis tell me how many of you have missed a newspaper in the morning or missed the flower in the morning and compare that with tier one companies where your call drops your your signal drop <laughs> so look at the guy in the middle in the morning he sells this snacks in front of Shivaji Park catering to the joggers and walkers who go in the evening he sells the same snacks with a little bit of mix change in front of liquor shops for a completely different demography <laughs> all of this is being done by people who don't have MBAs haven't been to Harvard haven't been to all, none of that places 
all these marginalized people, the only place where they can go to earn a living is the unorganized market. 